Hey, what is going on, guys? It is SLJ. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, um, we're going to be talking about the Division Two. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, I haven't I haven't been uploading. Obviously, as you can tell, I moved my setup. If you guys realize that I moved my setup, uh, mostly because of a very good reason. Um, if you guys didn't see my other video, I am part of a uh, part of a company now called Robrand. I am the I'm the, the designer. I designed this logo, and if you guys can see it, the raw or this is our company shirt. These are these were prototype shirts that uh, that we got sent so we can make sure. And obviously, this logo is going to be a little larger. It's gonna this is actually just a prototype T-shirt, um, and the raw is actually on the back is going to be lowered a little bit, and and uh, it's going to be larged a little bit. So this is just a prototype shirt, but. Yeah, so this, you know, when, when I said this um, earlier in my other video, my announcement video, and I said, I was, you know, I was going to be a part of a company with my friend Rodney, I was serious. I was serious. This is a serious thing. Um, our new, our first ever clothing drop is going to be dropped this spring, April 5th. It's on a Friday. So if you guys uh, want to go follow our Instagram, raw.brand, you guys will see us. You guys will see this logo. Um and uh, you'll be able to see our shirts. We just released these shirts. Or we just uh, showed off these shirts on Instagram. And we also showed off one of our first ever designs for our feelings line, which is going to be coming out this April. So um, I'm excited for it. So the, obviously I moved my setup because I'm going to be um, eventually hopefully getting a artist pad because I art is my is my passion. Um, I love If you guys didn't know about that, music, obviously, right right there the camera's inverted but right here and i've got my guitar literally right here to my uh left and my amps literally now there to my left Every, you know everything's you know um where i want it i have chairs in here for you know it's it's really cool it's a nice setup um and uh you know art is my passion so that's why i moved i'm gonna be having an art pad soon a drawing tablet stuff like that because i'm going to college for it and uh for design and shit so that's why it was it was it was a you know it's a perfect thing that i'm a designer for a clothing brand that me and my friend rodney own and you know it's 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 just it was a passion of mine to be able to make designs for shit i've always wanted to wear my own clothing and like i said on a lot of my videos you know when i'm in my slj shirt i always wanted to wear my own clothing and well now, now that's a reality. Now I'm able to wear my own clothing, which is freaking awesome. So let's get into the game. Uh, enough plugging. Let's get into the uh, into the main topic of this of this whole discussion, and that is the division two. Um, I am very hyped for it. I've seen a lot of um, promotional material for it, but I've also played the game, and I've also seen a lot, a lot, a lot of trustworthy people playing this game and talking about it and everything. And in all reality, I am very, very excited. Um, I thought I really didn't want this becoming a whole anthem fiasco. If you guys haven't heard about that game, you're living under a rock. Um, anthem is a complete, uh, utter failure and garbage. I thought it, I knew it was going to be garbage from the start, and I was right because it was an EA game. It was a brand new IP, and it was also Bioware, Mass Effect, Andromeda. Waste my fucking money, but um. Yeah, I was I was really really hoping that it wasn't going to be an anthem anthem part two, but no, it doesn't seem like that at all. They have they ha I have I have complete trust in the developers of uh, Ubisoft um or not Ubisoft but oh yeah Ubisoft and the people who made uh, the division. Um, this you know they have made a shit ton of improvements. Um, it's a complete different. You can tell it's a division game, but it's a completely different ballpark from the division one. You know, uh, division one was set in New York. This is set in Washington D.C. But also, this is set in snowy New York, and you know, snowy New York winter time during Christmas time, New York. And I think about. Uh, I think it's two two months or three months. Um, after this outbreak for the division two, it's two months after this, the first, how it actually happened. Cause division one is when the outbreak fully happened. When everyone shit hit the fan, you, you learn about everything. When shit hit the fan, everybody had, you know, you know, they learned about the virus that was, you know, put, it was the little, you know, like small pox kind of virus put on a hundred dollar bills or just money. And it just, it just released all through New York. And it was basically this huge ass plague, you know, and plus it was Black Friday. So it was just, you know, knocking people out. And it was basically like a terrorist attack. 
um, and it wiped out all of New York, wiped out, you know, um, Washington, D.C., wiped out a lot of freaking places all over the U.S., and, um, and that's, you know, where, you know, and, and I, I really did love The Division, um, the first ever one. Uh, I probably have about 130 hours on The Division. Um, I did stop playing it after the Underground DLC when they when they started doing all those patch fixes and my, my level kind of flopped. Um, I, I used to have, you know, I had all green armor, I had the best armor in the game, but that also was kind of bad because people that didn't have the Underground DLC, people that didn't have the Season Pass, um, their armor was weaker, so people would go in the Dark Zone and abuse it. I didn't go in the dark zone and abuse it. I was just playing PVE. That's um, that's my main focus is PVE and um, and there is a lot of PVE stuff in D- the division two. The division one kind of lacked in the whole PVE aspect. Yeah, there was a few things here and there, um, but most of it was PvP based. You know, uh, you got uh, underground DLC was PVE. I gotta I gotta I gotta admit that. But the last stand DLC um, that was all basically PvP esque. Um, the um, I forget the survival DLC is where, you know, you get crashed in a chopper and you're walking around, you know, a blizzard in New York. And that's more PvP, PvE type base, but more PvP because, you know, random ass players can walk up to you and fucking kill you. And, um, but yeah, it, it was, they were, they were decent DLCs. I played all of them, but, um, they just weren't my cup of tea. But obviously in the Division 2, I am super excited. Uh, speaking of DLCs, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but, um, you know, Division 2 just looks, I've played it. I played the open beta and it was it's just a it's a phenomenal looking game. Division one was really beautiful with their snow engine. It was the first time they've ever they've ever done something like that. So it was really cool to see something like that implemented in the game. Um, but also, uh, you know, the division two is there's so much different shit. It's a one to one fucking scale of Washington DC. That is awesome. That is seriously fucking awesome. They took, you know, from satellite maps and they actually mapped out Washington DC. Um from that, and it's really, really cool, I think that's the coolest thing in the world, um, you know, for actual Washington, people from Washington, D.C. could walk down the street and say, oh, that's where the Starbucks is, right down the street from the Metro Center, like, that's really, really cool that you can actually do that, and I think that's a really, really awesome feature that they, they did a one-to-one scale of Washington, D.C., that's freaking cool, um, and also, uh, you know, they um they listen to their fans in the clo or the private and the open beta and literally on their patch notes on their website is literally fucking like it's just so much patches because they actually listened to their fans and they listened to the people who played the beta and you know they got a bunch of feedback of different bugs different glitches and bam they were on that shit and they patched and obviously you know obviously they didn't patch all of it you know obviously but they are going to patch a lot of shit and they're going to be on the ball post launch um and it's it's really really cool to have that feeling that these developers are very passionate and i know i i knew that they were very passionate about the division one i knew it because they did a lot of good shit and they and at the end of the at the end of the day when they fixed everything and they they made a lot of improvements they really did a good job. I mean, the game was a really good game. It was a solid game. Uh, the story was very interesting. Um, they had, you know, little Easter eggs and shit that you could go and find. 100% of this game, by the way. Um, and you can go around New York and you can, you know, pick up these different, you know, audio logs, book pages, um, photos, shit like that. And you could go around New York and you can pick these up and read the lore about it. I actually have the survival guide, um, the actual survival book that you can actually get in this, in this game. You can actually collect all the pages for it. I actually got the physical copy for it. I pre-ordered it um, before the game came out. When the game came out, that book came out. I got it from Amazon, and it's a really interesting book. It's a really interesting read. It's really awesome, um, and uh, it's more not like a book. It's more like a journal, but it's it's still really, really cool. Um, you get cool little things with it and everything, and it was really neat type of uh, Easter egg that they put in there that you can actually have the physical copy of the thing you can collect in game, and I think that's just really awesome. And um, there's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of more shit in the Division Two. Um, they're actually they're having um, the things called settlements. I've actually experienced this. I was kind of confused about it, but apparently um, they're it, they're making a lived-in feel, like they're making the civilians actually walk around and look lived-in, and you know uh, do everyday things and 
now they're doing settlements and now you can actually build up settlements and you can actually help them uh you can help these civilians in these settlements build build it up and you know get a better you know get a better defense system or you can get rewards out of it more missions and stuff like that and more checkpoints that are that are friendly based and there can actually be enemy checkpoints which i think is really cool um they have all different things um you know implemented in the game the 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 Washington DC is kind of more traverse. Uh, there's multiple different uh, dark zones, which is really cool. There's not just one dark zone, which is if you guys know, I'm pretty sure it's Madison, Madison Square Garden. There's a little piece of Madison Square Garden, but there's just a whole strip right through New York, and I'm pretty sure that's Madison Square Garden. Um, of just the dark zone, that's all it was. And this actually has three different dark zones, which I think is it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat to, to actually do. I might actually try the Dark Zone again. I used to back in the day. Um, but uh, uh, funny story, if you guys know a YouTuber named Marco Style, I actually entered in his uh, open beta giveaway for the Division 1 and actually won it. It was the first thing I've ever won. Um, and I was really surprised too because they were they were open, they were, they were closed beta codes. Um, and which is funny is that I actually met the dude. I didn't even know it. I met the dude in the Division One. Uh, we were playing. I was playing Dark Zone with a couple people, and um, we were we were rolling up to um, one of the extraction points with the chopper. Where you can put your bag on your your toxic bag on the chopper and put it away. Um, and hit and his whole squad rolled up. And that um, and how I knew it was him was because obviously it said Marco style his name right above it. But he also had a purple puff jacket and an orange beanie. And his whole squad had that. And when I saw when I was looking through division videos and I saw him actually have that um, that gear and I was like, wait a minute, that looks familiar. That's that well, the way that he's wearing that shit and his gun looks really familiar. Um, and then I looked him up or, and then I looked at it and I was like, holy shit, I actually met this dude and I mean, me and my squad, I forget who I was rolling with at the time. I think it was old, old, my old friends that I used to play games with all the time. We were like very sketch of whether they were going to kill us or not. And, um, you know, and I realized, holy shit, that was a YouTuber that I was, you know, about to gun down if he was about to shoot at me. So I thought that was a really, really kind of funny story. Um, it was before he blew up and shit, um. For the division got really successful and he blew up over the division um he was just a small channel and you know it was it was cool it was it was pretty cool to um to be able to see it like holy shit i i met a youtuber i didn't even know it um but that was kind of a funny story but yeah i've had a lot of good memories with the division one i'm excited for the division two um in all honesty the division two looks very promising it looks beautiful and it just looks like it's going to be a phenomenal title and obviously obviously anthem is going to hurt from this um if you guys didn't you know like i said earlier anthem is just a garbage it's absolute garbage um and it's if you guys have seen all the drama between anthem i didn't even purchase anthem because i had a huge hunch that it was going to be a terrible game and i was right and i'm glad i didn't pre-order it i'm glad i didn't waste my fucking 60 dollars and i'm glad i spent my 60 dollars on an actual game that i knew it was going to be good and i actually watched a lot of shit before i pre-ordered it i didn't pre-order it back in you know when it got announced i didn't pre-order it you know when their little bit of gameplay came out no i pre-ordered it right Actually, yesterday I pre-ordered it because um, I saw gameplay. I played the beta. I made sure I liked it. The gunplay is a lot different than Division One. Um, the outfits are a lot are like the running is a lot more realistic. A lot of things are more realistic and more fine-tuned in Division Two, and it's really nice. It's really really refreshing and cool to see. How I love because every once in a while you you get these passionate developers that just make it outright awesome kick-ass title and the division one that was really awesome yeah it had its problems but hey it was their first time ever doing it and they improved on it and you know what i have a lot of faith my phone just came up my phone just went off my bad um and now serious talking anyway um but uh i was super 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 um excited when i when i got to see that uh there's newer abilities because in the division one in the division one, uh, they they did, they barely really had any abilities. They had like you know the the little you know the stun cannon. They had the little gun thing you can flip up. They have those in the division two, but they also have a lot more abilities, a lot more skill trees. Um, you're not carrying a bunch of attachments anymore. You're actually gonna build up a skill tree, where you're actually gonna be able to get those attachments from the skill tree, and you're not gonna have to you know sit there and siphon through all of these attachments because that was kind of annoying. I had to go through all of these attachments to find the right guns for the right stats for my you know to get my uh, DPS up and everything, but I thought it was, you know, I thought it was really, really cool. 
Um, so let me know what you guys think about the division two. I'm super hyped for it. I'm very excited for it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinion. I'm going to be streaming it on Friday as you know, not when it comes out, but later in the day, I'm after when I get home from school, I will be live streaming it. So if you guys want to come down, uh, go follow my Twitch channel. Um, I will love to see you guys there. Come out, say hi, and just, um, you know, just, you know, chill out and, and, I'll, um, and we'll, I'll play the division while we just chill out and talk. It'd be really, really fun. I love talking to you guys. It's, it's, it's been a blast. Um, so thank you guys for watching. My name is Mr. J4372. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care guys.